dear friends all of us are in the preparation of celebrating st joseph's feast i invite you to spend few moments in the company of st joseph may these days of novena be a grace filled time spent together i belong to the congregation of the sisters of st joseph of leo our congregation was born in the mid 17th century at lepuy france founded by father john peter medai sg in response to the suffering humanity of his time caused by war social unrest oppression of the poor by the rich class and other social evils etc existed at that time a small groups of women came together under the guidance of father medai sg and gave birth to our congregation in 1650 it was recognized as a religious congregation by henry the mopa bishop of lepuy france under the patronage of saint joseph caught in the political turmoil of the french revolution many communities of the congregation disbanded few sisters were martyred at kiliton and many were imprisoned others returned to their own homes or went into hiding once the revolution ended sisters began to regather into communities to serve the people torn by war congregation of the sisters of st joseph of leo was restored after the french revolution by mother st john von bon at the request of the bishop of leo we are called to live ignatian spirituality which promotes to live inclusive love modeled after the trinitarian god rooted in the mystery of the trinity the congregations of st joseph have as mission to work towards the double union of the people among themselves and with god and with the creation the mission of the sisters of st joseph is to bring all people to god reconcile differences and serve their neighbor without any distinction presently we are living and working in 15 countries across the world we have two provinces in india st joseph province that includes southern states of tamil nadu kerala karnataka andhra pradesh and also sri lanka navajivan province includes north indian states of chhattisgarh odisha and maharashtra under the patronage of st joseph and by his divine intercession our congregation continues to carry out the dreams of our founder and foundress as per the signs of the time the theme of the day invites us to reflect st joseph as the patron of all religious there are numbers of virtues of st joseph that inspires us to contemplate the silent features of today's religious life i would like to highlight upon the faithfulness of st joseph he is the holy joseph because no other saints than he lived in such long intimacy and such familiarity with the source of all holiness jesus god incarnate and mary the holiest of all creatures says st john henry newman the glory of st joseph is incomparable he has no equal in the services he has rendered and in the virtues he has practiced despite the absence of much information st joseph has always been held in high esteem being an example for us to be always faithful a faithful person is someone who is always reliable and consistent loyal and steadfast st joseph called a righteous man that reveals a lot about his character by divine choice st joseph became the foster father of child jesus he remained faithful till the end in fulfilling his mission in caring for jesus and mary 
Even in the life threatening challenging situations he remained faithful. He lived for one purpose to be a constant companion of Mary the chosen mother of God and of Jesus the son of God. As a consecrated religious men and women and as a Christians we are called to be in intimacy with the Lord and be faithful to his call. Saint Joseph through his exemplary life shows us the way we are called to be united with Jesus and to be focused on the purpose of our religious life. In him we have the model of the active and contemplative life. Today as we are faced with the challenging situations in living of our religious commitment due to individualism, sense of ego, attractions to materialism, religious fundamentalism, increasing new poverty due to war, climate change, allurement of the world, etc. In this challenging time, St. Joseph stands before us to be centered on his value of faithfulness. Besides, the intimacy St. Joseph shared with Jesus was for him an ongoing source of grace, virtue, spiritual wealth and consolation. St. Joseph was always learning and sanctifying himself. As we spend these days of Novena to St. Joseph, may the patron of our congregation protect and guide us in our life and mission. May God bless us all. And I wish you all happy St. Joseph feast. Yeah.